pitch. Yeah, he pitched out of trouble. And uh, it was one of those days you, you could tell the ball was taken off on him a little bit, kind of trying to find that grip. Um, two balls sailing inside, kind of that, that cool, dry air. But uh, also he had enough kind of grip to really make the ball move, too. So I think he uh, fell in a nice field with his sinker, but I thought he did a nice job with everything. He just um, made better pitches when he had to. Did you kind of dial that in like midway through the, the start there just to get a feel for where the movement was going? So was I, yeah, I think it was, it was truly this getting a grip on the ball that was it was kind of getting on the way when you'd see him run deep counts. It was it was frustrating. He was trying to, you know, get a little sweat going to where he could use that to help him. But it was uh, just one of those, you know, nights early in the season that happened. Um, but then I think got on side a little bit. You know, there was a great trip out to the mound by uh, Derek Lilliquist to kind of get him on top of the ball a little more because it was starting to run side to side a little bit. But um, overall, you know, his, he uh, he was putting it where he wanted to and kept the ball in the bottom and and. Uh, Letting guys make plays. He has four heads, three. Uh, in the last game, do you see his swing coming around? Yeah, he's he's in a good place. He's, you know, um, just uh, you know, putting better at bats. You can see he's seeing the ball where he's trusting it. Where you know, a lot like you know, we talked about Dex early in the season, just couldn't wait to get up there and hit it because you know, just the first one he saw, it felt like it was his only chance. But um, he's tracking the ball well. He's taking walks. He's he's uh, laying off tough pitches and and uh, getting balls that he can drive. There's any correlation to you moving him down in the lineup and two good games, Dean? Um, you know, we never rule out anything, um, but I, you could see him starting to head in, the, in a little better direction even when we made that move. But he um, certainly looks good now, and he's in situations where he can drive in runs too, and and he's um, he's making the most of those. So, you know, no reason to necessarily, you know, put all the blame or credit whenever a guy's in a certain spot in the lineup but um, you know when something looks right you know it uh, try and stick with it if we can I mean we talked about that with Colton and all of a sudden we need to put him in another spot and he did a nice job at the top of the lineup for us tonight. Is Jets hand okay? Yeah he is he was sore at the end you know being his throwing hand that uh, was one we just wanted to kind of get ahead of and let him get in here and get it worked on a little bit so we could have him tomorrow. Do you, uh, do you think that it just by moving a guy in the lineup, specifically Diaz out of that lineup, just, like, just kind of alleviates maybe what he's trying to do or gives him a different look like with RBI guy? It can, um, but I think what we're seeing is a guy seeing the ball. You don't see the ball better in the sixth spot than you do in the two. Um, you know, there's times you put them in a certain spot in the order, and, and they may get pitched differently, which could be an, an advantage to them. But, you know, I just don't really see that uh, right now. Just trying to give him... You know, something different, help him kind of, and that's usually what it is. It's not a reward and punishment thing. It's more of, you know, where can we put a guy to, you know, maybe change it up a little for him. And, and maybe he does see something different, um, or maybe he thinks a little different. You just don't know completely how that uh, always registers with guys. But if it, if it works, then, um, you know, you're, you're happy for him.